architecture of a meeting application with Amazon Chime SDK. Our requirement is to architect a meeting application with audio video interaction, screen sharing, recording and live transcript. Some examples of such applications are a video conference application, distance learning solution, telehealth application, customer support over video, etc. AWS provides several media services which can be used to create a variety of streaming applications. However, of these Amazon Chime SDK is most suitable to build our meeting application. Let's learn more. Before we move ahead, it is important to know the difference between Amazon Chime and Amazon Chime SDK. Amazon Chime is a ready to use video conferencing service much like Zoom, Google Meet or Microsoft Teams. While Amazon Chime SDK consists of building blocks necessary to add or embed collaborative video audio calling and screen sharing features to your web or mobile applications. Amazon Chime SDK is made up of the following. Chime JavaScript and mobile SDKs. These are used to initiate, control and terminate media sessions from client applications. Chime APIs in AWS SDK. These are used to create and manage meeting resources on cloud. You use these APIs on cloud, for example, from a Lambda function. Chime Media Services provides audio, video and signaling services on cloud. Client applications connect to them to conduct meetings. It consists of services like Chime Media Control Plane, Data Plane and Voice Connector. We will learn more about these soon. Here's the architecture of our meeting application. Let's understand the building blocks of this architecture one by one by going over various request flows. Request flow is highlighted here in green. In order to create a meeting or add an attendee, the client Chime SDK makes a REST call to a Lambda function which uses Chime API in AWS SDK to invoke the Amazon Chime Media Control Plane. Control Plane in turn creates the meeting in Amazon Chime Media Data Plane. Meeting is always created in a specific region and the client requester can pass preferred meeting region along with the meeting creation request. In general, meeting should be created in a region closest to the meeting attendees. Once the client joins the meeting in one of the regions, audio video data flow can begin. Meeting notifications are sent to EventBridge, SQS and SNS. You can configure these services to receive notifications while creating the meeting. How about attending a meeting over a PSTN phone? In this case, to create a meeting or an attendee, we use a PSTN meeting service with AWS SDK to invoke media control plane. To attend meetings, we use Amazon Voice Connector service. An Amazon Chime Voice Connector service provides session initiation protocol or SIP trunking service for your phone system. You can use the Amazon Chime console to create SIP media applications. SIP rules will specify how a SIP media application can connect to an Amazon Chime SDK meeting. If you want to provide audio transcription or subtitles for a live call, you can make use of Amazon Transcribe service. Audio is fed into the Transcribe service and transcribed text is returned, which is then sent as a data message back to the client. You can also use transcriptions for content analysis, meeting transcripts and so on. So how do you record a meeting? You can do this by using a media capture pipeline attached to the meeting, which then receives media and saves it to an S3 bucket. There are many kinds of media pipelines. Let's take a quick look. Here are various kinds of media pipelines. Media capture pipeline, as we just saw, can be used to record meetings. Meeting artifacts are stored 
in small file chunks in S3 bucket, media concatenation pipeline can concatenate these meeting artifacts. Media Live Connector Pipeline enables you to stream Amazon Chime SDK meetings to a RTMP endpoint. In addition, each type of media pipeline can send lifecycle events to other Amazon services like EventBridge, SQS, and SNS, which you can use to trigger notifications and initiate downstream workflows. With this, we come to the end of our discussion. This should give you a good idea of the architecture of a meeting application using AWS Chime SDK.